Hey there folks and welcome back for another shaving video. I'm your host Chris or CDB and today we have some great stuff for you. Trust me, but before we get into the shaving content, I wanted to say a, a few words about Manny from SoCal Shave. Um, he he IM'd me Tuesday night and said his dad had been admitted to the hospital. He had gone for some treatment for bronchitis and then it turned to pneumonia and next thing you know he was diagnosed with the coronavirus, COVID. 19 and he was put on a ventilator. We put out a message, you know, if you could uh, give some thoughts and prayers, that would be appreciated. Anyhow, as of Wednesday afternoon, uh, last time I heard from Manny, uh, he said his dad was doing better. He was in ICU, but was doing better and is now stable. So thank you to all the people who sent, you know, thoughts, prayers, good vibes for Manny. And uh, please go check out his channel as well and give him some love. That's really, really important. I wanted to say that to onset. Okay, the shaving content. Today we're gonna to be using the Christopher Bailey razor by Carve, no, Christopher <laughs> Bradley with the E-plate. We'll uh, talk about that in just a moment. Also, we have a good experiment today. We're using the Crown King Future Fiction. Uh, this is CK6 right here. And this is the regular CK formula. And I have each of them loaded and as close as I could get them to equal amounts uh, in the containers there. The CK6 is darker in color as you see them there. And I actually have the very same brush uh, minus color. This is the West Coast Shaving uh, Beacon Synthetic 24 millimeter. I'm gonna use the same brush on each, try to load equally, split the face, use CK6 on one side, use Crown King on the other and see what uh, differences we can uh, discern. Uh, it's not about deciding which one is better because I can't tell you which one is better. As I said in the video yesterday, each face, each technique, each unique set of, set of circumstances dictate different things in terms of soap uh, ingredients. Uh, let me go ahead and show you the uh, ingredient list there. You'll see the Crown King formula and the CK6. And there is your ingredients for the Future Fiction, as you and as you can see, the CK6 has more ingredients. The scent on this soap, to me, um, it's beautiful. Scent strength is right at medium for me, five out of the top. And to me, this smells reminiscent of Sandpiper by Sterling or Folsom and Company Black Powder-ish, if you remember that scent. And Manny was the one who told me that this kind of reminded him of Sandpiper, and it's the reason I got it. Because when I looked at the notes and it said musky and I'm like, eh, I don't know. And then it said floral and woody like in the first notes and I'm like, eh, but when I got it, beautiful, beautiful, clean. Sandpiper is the best way I can describe it. If you like sandpiper, I think you would like this soap. To me, it's not overly floral. It's not overly woody and uh, I like the scent. So, okay, Christopher ba Bradley, Christopher Bailey, let's call it. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna load a feather blade. And, and by the way, I see people talking about um, running a feather blade through a cork. I don't understand why anybody does that. If you wanna strop it, get you a piece of leather and strop both, so, both edges, I get it, 100% with you. But to run it through a cork is to dull it. And if you're gonna dull a sharp blade or blunt it, then just don't use a sharp blade. To me, it makes no sense to dull a blade ever under any circumstance, be it a pocket. Would I run my pocket knife through a cork? No. Would I strop it? Yes. Anyway, there is our uh, feather blade loaded in there. Look at those nice posts on the Christopher Bradley. I really like that. Holds the blade in there nice and firm. And as we talked about before, I like the cutouts on a Christopher Bradley because you can hold the blade in there and screw it down. The handle on this one is three inches, perfect size for me. I love the handle. Now you can get different sizes, of course. I like three inch handle is perfect for me, right on time. It can be slightly over that and it's fine. And the blade exposure on that is perfect. It does have the cutouts, which I like. I don't want the cap that, that hides that. I think that's a unique feature of Christopher Bradley or Christopher Bailey <laughs> carve. Uh, anyway. Okay, so we, we've been yapping. I expect this video to go a little bit longer because of what we're trying to do here. So first, I'm gonna try to load 
So I'm with the CK6. It will be on the blue beacon brush from West Coast Shaving. And I'm gonna try to load them as evenly as I can. I'm not trying to create a lather here. I'm just trying to load it. And by the way, if you see me using this here, this is an old tub. I keep these things. I reuse them. So they're always helpful helpful for me. For me, I keep plates in one of these. I keep blades in them. I reuse them. So don't chuck out your old containers. Rinse them out, peel the labels off if you want, and reuse them like for today's experiment. I needed two sort of equivalent surfaces to load from. I didn't want to use different bowls because I wanted to make this as close as I could possibly get it to even. And so, okay. So we've got our CK6 loaded up there. I'm gonna set that aside. Then we'll get our other beacon brush, wet it, and we'll load it as well. And then we're just gonna see what differences we can nail down between the two. Uh, who knows what they'll be, if any. There are different ingredients. You can see that clearly by the label. You can see the color is different. The scent is the same. Uh, some people, I think in my, uh, when I used a sample the other day, I noticed that I thought the CK6 was a little bit creamier lather. Um, is what I thought I noticed, but you now we're gonna find out today. And keep in mind, some of this is subject to the way you lather too, how much water you add. So there may not be a tremendous difference for me. You never know. Each use case is entirely different. I can't emphasize that enough. We don't really have, I, it, this is gonna be a recurring theme on my channel, and that we don't really have a lot of objective measures and ways to really objective measure things. So there's a whole lot of opinion going here. And that's why I always advise people to take in a lot of different sources and then make your purchasing decisions. Uh, it should never be a one-stop shop, as far as I'm concerned, when you're talking about spending your hard-earned money, especially in these times with the corona. Um, right now in the United States, there are, so CK6 on this side. Right now in the United States, there are, uh, ooh, that feels quite silky. 186,000 cases of Corona and we've had uh, 3,000 deaths so far, which is not uh, nearly as many as some countries, but they're expecting that our deaths could exceed 200,000. That is sobering. And I hope everybody's taking it seriously. Our own community has been touched by this. You know, David at uh, DC Shave and now Manny's father, and I hope it won't visit any of you or your relatives, those of you who are watching. Super nice, silky feeling lather on the CK6. By the way, we didn't talk about cost, did we? Let's apply some moisture there. This feels quite good. <laughs> so, um, okay, so cost. The CK, this, the regular Crown King is $14.95 um, for four ounces, that's 373 per ounce, and I'll keep that chart there while I'm talking. And the CK6 formula is, uh, what is the CK6 formula? 24.95 for five ounces, 4.99, so a little bit more expensive there, more than a dollar per ounce. So we had uh, 373 is the price per ounce for the regular Crown King formula, which is on this side of my face. And we have four ninety nine under five dollars. So, so it's under that extreme starting to get pricey cost. Um, four ninety nine per ounce for five ounces of the uh, CK six. CK six comes with five ounces. Regular Crown King comes in four. So just pointing that out. Okay, we've got a. Nice lather on each side, as far as I'm concerned, for my needs. No, I know there's not a lot of moisture in it, but it will work, trust me. As I was saying uh, last week, um, I like to rinse my razor a lot. And as I'm, I'm doing that, it's also adding lubrication from the water on the razor, and that feels quite smooth and nice. Let's take, very, very nice. E plate here. Okay, let's see. Very nice. <laughs> I can't tell any difference in the way the razor is gliding. Okay, so no difference whatsoever to me as far as that goes. 
the, uh, you can't see it, I don't think, in this view, but I think the CK6, the, the consistency of the lather feels to me to be a little more creamy. Um, feather blade feeling nice, first time out here. And again, I wanna get back on that thread. I don't understand why any, if you're going to dull the feather blade, then don't buy the feather blade. You know, it's sharp. It's meant to be sharp. Use it sharp. If you want to strop it to take out the roughness, strop it. But running it, running the blade through a cork is not stropping. That's blunting, in my opinion. Now, there might be others who disagree, but I guarantee you, if you run a knife through a cork a bunch, it's going to dull it. It's not stropping it, I don't think. All right, what do we got here? Let's see how we do. Feeling pretty good so far. The feather blade for me on shave one, regardless of whether it's stropped or not, just is never super, super smooth. The, I believe I was using, um, what was I using? Perma Sharp in the other day shave and it was a lot smoother in this razor. But I wanted to give this guy a roll in the, in the feather just to see how it was. Um, both sides of my face, the performance of the soap was very good on both. There's good residual slickness there. Good residuals. Maybe, maybe slightly. There is a little more residual slickness on the CK6 side. There is. It's what it feels like to me. So let's apply a little moisture to the face and relather for Pasc 2. However, the regular Crown King formula was a good performer as well for that pass. No problems. No problems whatsoever so far. And uh, this should be interesting. You know, one is more than a dollar more per ounce. Expensive. Is it worth it? I don't know. I can never tell you that really. You have to decide. You have to look at those ingredients. You have to test these soaps and you have to make your own decision. For some people... The, ingress, the additional ingredients that comes in a high-end soap is worth every penny. And for some people, it isn't. And generally speaking, for me, it's not. I don't need it. You've seen me shave, you know, a thousand times or more uh, on this channel. Um, and I've used all qualities of soaps over the years from the very expensive high-end to very, very inexpensive, like Colonel Conk yesterday. And the result is generally the same. Now, I think, generally speaking, where you can tell the biggest difference in soap quality is probably in the post. But for me, I don't even notice a tremendous amount of difference there. Um, I think you could also tell sometimes in the amount of residual slickness and... The, the overall quality of the lather, like the way it appears to you, its consistency can be different, to be sure, when you have certain ingredients. And it's up, you know, your goat's milk and, and soaps that have additional butters and fatty type things that just give it that uh, more creamy sort of texture. And it feels better, I think, to a lot of people. And sometimes it provides more cushion and glide and all that. But generally speaking, as the shave goes, for me, I tend to come out at the same place at the end of the shave, regardless of it, whether it's a $1 per ounce soap or a $6 per ounce soap. If it's a great scent, I'll spend more. I won't always spend more for the additional ingredients. L let, me, uh, let me try to phrase that a different way. So let's say that I have this exact scent and several artisans make it. Let's say it's a dupe. It's not, but let's just, let's just say it was. Uh, one soap has the Super Blue Emu Unicorn Milk and it's $7 an ounce, let's say. It's got all the fanciest stuff in it. And the other is your just standard ingredients. Maybe it's got a little lanolin or something. In it. Maybe it's a sterling type and it's, $2 or $3 an ounce. I'm going for the two or three, generally, because I don't need all that extra stuff. Um, 
I didn't shave a lick right there. Did I? <laughs> One thing I've noticed is I don't have enough um, moisture in this side because I'm talking more. So I'm going to wet my brush and just apply some moisture to make that a little bit slicker. If you're doing a lot of yapping, you can lose your moisture. So be careful. And my uh, sort of thick pasty lather sometimes can uh, clog a razor. So I try to rinse it pretty often. But uh, now this, uh, I will say this blade has completely calmed down. Um, and I think it's two things. One, I've removed a good deal of the, the whiskers in the first pass. That's always the case. And two, with use, the blades just, the rough edges sort of calms down and it just works. Uh, this Christopher Bradley is brass. Some people have polished them. Um, and they, you know, have a, made them shiny. I don't know if I've seen any pictures of that. So if you have polished yours, you know, post a link below to it or show us where it is. I like to look at it and see your work if you've polished it up. I know some people like to do that. All right. Pass two. Really nice on both sides. Feels pretty even. This time what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and lather the way, but I'm going to shave the other side first. Uh, soap still smelling good. It stays right for me, right at the medium scent strength uh, of right around 4.5 to 5. It is no stronger on my face than it was out of the jar, as far as I'm concerned. One thing about this uh, CK6... It feels creamier on my face. I can I can say that for sure. I can just tell in the way it's painting on. It's a little bit thicker. Now I did add some water to this side, you know, to my brush, so I might have to work it a little bit more. Um, but the CK6 feels a little more creamy to me. That's my general observation in terms of uh, the biggest performance difference so far has been it just, when I'm painting it on, it just, you can feel it. You, when a soap's going under your skin, assuming you have experience, you'll feel the difference. Okay. There we go. Very nice. Let's add a little bit of moisture to it there, just on top. And I never go this... This is very odd for me because I never shaved this side first on my last pass, or at least I don't think I do. So, this will be different. The carve is feeling really nice. Nice and smooth on the E-plate with feather blade. Non-blunted <laughs> feather blade. I never heard anything like that. Blunt to blade. I don't understand. I never want to dull anything sharp, you know, to, uh, other than pain. <laughs> you don't want a sharp pain, obviously. But when it comes to blades, the sharper, the better, in my opinion. Uh, whether in any sort of tool, you know, if it has any sort of cutting edge, generally speaking, the sharper, the better. It keeps you typically from jumping and cutting yourself and things like that. Love the handle size on this razor, that three inches. I measured it was slightly under three inches on my ruler, just a smidgen. But for, you know, practical purposes, it's three inches. And uh, it's good. It's a good shaver. And I didn't mention the cost. Um, one of the reasons I like this razor is it is, uh, I wrote it down. This is $100 Canadian, which is about $71 US. And the plates are pretty affordable at $21 US, 30 Canadian. I think that's quite a reasonable price. You know, you're all, you're talking uh, you're talking. They're getting in the Razor Rock range of uh, you know when stain when Razor Rock comes out with a stainless steel razor. Now this one's brass, but brass I think is still a nice. You know, and you're talking aluminum. That's different for me. I don't want to pay as much for aluminum razor. I don't ever. But brass or any you know more robust metal, I will. 
That feels delightful. Very, very, very good on that side. See how we do over here. Even the E plate for me doesn't feel crazy aggressive. I'm, I'm gonna have to pair this razor up against some of the contenders for, for aggression. Just to see how it feels, like what it feels equivalent to. Very nice. And again, I'm talking so much that I'm letting the uh, lather dry a little bit. You don't want that. I'm just wetting that down a little bit so the razor will glide a little bit because it's not the razor's fault if you allow your lather to dry out because you're flapping your gums too much, <laughs> which I'm prone to do, as you well know. And I hope you've stuck with me so far. If you have, I really appreciate it. This is feeling good. The... Uh, the carve, you're seeing it in a lot more videos, I think, for a couple of reasons. One, it's nicely crafted. Two, it's affordable relative to some of the premium offerings. And I think, generally speaking, carve has shown a commitment to not, you know, try to grab every penny. In their decision to make the uh, top cap, you know, they made it compatible with the old, which is excellent. I mean, they have you in mind, and I think that's terrific. I really like that. You know, somebody that's, you know, not trying to... It's a business, don't get me wrong. They're in it to make money, but... Their offerings at this point are not super, super expensive. And they are came up, coming out with a titanium offering. And it seems like Jack has been saying, you know, they're... They're still talking about price, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be like paradigm prices, which is just crazy. All right, man, oh man. That feels good. Really, really nice on both sides, I must say. Let me rinse and we'll come back and uh, see how everything feels and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we're back with our line caster. Right, I've been calling it brushwork. It's Razorworks towel, which you've seen uh, DK or black bear juice a lot. I do like it, very, very nice. Feels good on the face, and pretty much what I'm using it for is uh, is to dry off my face and so on. I'm not using it to wipe down my razors, although you could if you want to. Okay, and in comes the magic made by what? Humphreys, yes. People have been asking me to try Humphreys. One of the things I'll say is I do like their Pull tabs are better than Thayer's. So I'm cheating on my beloved Thayer's a little bit. This one is more expensive. Uh, the Thayer's is usually for me 790 for 12 ounces. And this one's not, was 987 for eight ounces. This is cucumber melon. And we're just gonna try it today and see, you know, how it goes. I don't know what it smells like. Um, but let's go with it. I can tell you right now, I don't like the scent as much as the Thayer's. Thayer's to me has a little cleaner scent. This one smells a little, to my nose, a little more medicinal. Um, all right. As you can see, the wounds are healing up there pretty nicely. So that's great. Okay. Let's talk about, before we get to our aftershave, we'll let that uh, witch hazel dry down a little bit. One of the things you got to consider, folks, when you talk about post... Can you ever really tell a tremendous amount about a soap post if you're using aftershave and balm and putting many things on your face? You're adding other things. So every day I'm using these witch hazels, which contain aloe and so forth. Then I'm gonna hit it with an aftershave, which contains alcohol, but also other skin food and most of them, at least a little, not all. Um, so can you tell that much about a post when you're putting all these things on top of it? It's difficult, I would say. That's why I don't concern myself with a lot of times the post quality of a soap. Anyway, the Future Fiction, medium scent strength, 4.5 to 5, medium to maybe smidgen under. The CK6, for me, a little bit more creamy consistency of lather, a little bit more residual slickness. Is it twice as good as this? See, regular Crown King? No. Uh, are both good? Yes. Uh, either one you'd probably be happy with. If you're looking for a little edge, CK6. Now it might, for your use case, it may be dramatically better. For me, 
I can definitely tell a difference. Those additional ingredients are bringing some things to the table. I can tell. Uh, is it, you know, so impactful that I would never get this? Absolutely not, because both are, are good stuff. So that's where I fall. Keep in mind, my opinion, my use case, yours may, may vary. Christopher Bradley razor by Carve, or Christopher Bailey, as I'm calling it. E-plate, feather blade, super smooth, super nice, excellent shave. Pretty doggone good price at $70 US, uh, I think. Pretty good. We used our West Coast Shaving Beacon brushes, which were like, uh, how much are these? Under 20, 19 maybe. Uh, very, very nice, both synthetic, of course. The Humphreys, I don't like the way it smells as much as Thayer's. Thayer's is a fresher scent, but we'll see how it feels. And we're gonna finish things off because this has been a long video. Thanks if you've made it this far. Also, oh, since for those of you who have made it this far, you people are special. If you are a truck driver, if you are a grocer, if you are a mail carrier or a delivery person for, for UPS, please put a comment below and let me know what you do and uh, put where you, you know, what country you're from, let's say. I'm interested because you folks are doing a killer job. By the way, we're using the Future Fiction uh, Aftershave Cologne by PAA which is outstanding. Here's the way I pour it. Put my finger over, let a little out. There we go. That should do it. Smells great. Yes. Oh yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Um, I recommend that if you know you're going to like a soap from PAA and you think you might want to get the aftershave, get the aftershave and bundle it because it's cheaper. And also I'll have these PAA products a link for you below if you're interested. Future fiction, to me, reminiscent of Sandpiper. Thumbs up, I loved it. Okay, so we had a fun shave today. We established that I think, for me, CK6, a little bit better. Dramatically, I don't think so. But definitely, you can tell a difference. For your use case, it could be dramatic. For me, incrementally better, and I think that is the case with most soap bases from one to the another, from one to the next, just my opinion. Thanks so much for watching this long video. If you've made it this far, I really appreciate it. Please keep everyone in your thoughts and prayers. Um, it's a rough time out there. This, this coronavirus is wreaking havoc. And uh, please just pray to keep people safe. I hope to see you again soon. Thanks so much for joining me. I can't tell you how much it means. I really appreciate it. Until next time, Joy Shea, do it your way. And of course, God bless.